Zimbabwe People's Revolutionary Army Intelligence Supremo and Zapu leader, uh, that's Dumiso Dabengwa, has also thrown his weight behind the Zimbabwe's Defense Force. He's called on President Robert Mugabe to accept a mediation aimed at a smooth and bloodless transition. Dabengwa spoke to SBC News' uh, foreign editor, Sophie McQuenna. She started off by asking him what his thoughts are on the current political situation in Zimbabwe. The current situation in Zimbabwe left a lot of room for a chaotic situation to blow up in Zimbabwe. That the population was angry and they felt, almost everybody felt that there was not going to be any end to their suffering in spite of the sacrifices that they made during the liberation struggle. And my observations were it is a matter of time before that situation blows up. On the other hand, I also observed that the army was in a desperate situation. They no longer got the support that they thought they were due to from government. Badly kitted and badly fed. And I say the combination of these two elements from the population of Zimbabwe itself that feels that uh, its sufferings could not be ameliorated in any way, and the army, I think the army decided to take. And then there was the threat, of course, of, uh, <coughs> was a threat and an attempt which they thought was being done to impose uh, the first lady to be the successor to the president if he retired or his health failed him. Both the population, mm -hmm. yes, of course she had already been uh, nominated by all the ZANU PF provinces to be uh, the vice president to take over from Nangagwa, who had then be been fired. And uh, if she did, she would automatically be the vice president in government as well. And what it meant, the next thing was, if the president's health gave in, she would automatically take over as the acting president until such a time when elections were held. Do you think what the army has done in the country is good and uh, what needs to happen? Because some people are saying currently there's a vacuum. Yes, we have a vacuum in the country and that has got to be resolved by the Zimbabweans. I'm sure that there will be room for Zimbabweans to get on with it and be able to sit down and resolve it. But people should not be impatient. So much has been happening and people have been suffering. Let those who initiated this step do it properly. So far, in my view, they've handled the issues very well. They are dealing with the elements who they allege were around the president, misleading him, and were involved and corrupt activities, etc. Yeah. Let them complete that task. The people, the bulk of the population in Zimbabwe, a tenorate, don't want him any, any, any more. 
and if he had to stand for an election tomorrow, he would lose it completely. There's no turning point. There's no turning point. It would be futile for him to try and stand for an election. Your message to the international community, the Zimbabweans, the region, and the continent? Well, my message is Zimbabweans should continue to be patient, leave the army to go its program, and make the necessary consultations with the political parties that it think it needs to consult with in Zimbabwe. And let the Zimbabweans put their heads together and decide how they think that problem or the situation will be resolved. And they'll decide. As far as I'm concerned, the rest of the world should just wait and see how Zimbabweans are going to solve that problem. Mm. All right, and that's it for today.